In this session, we're busy with creditors maintenance and we're going to look at how to add a creditor. We'll click on the add button. Very important is your account number. Making sure that you fill in exactly the structure that you've decided what you will use to create creditors. You type in the name for the creditor. If you have a person's detail there, you can fill in a title, you can fill in a person's initial. If you've got an ID number and it is applicable, you can fill it in. I'll type in a contact number. You can select a birth date if you want to add a specific birth date. The company's registration number. The creditors group you can select. Remember this creditors group is what you would create under model parameters. On hold this will make this specific creditor inactive which means if a creditor is on hold you will not be able to process transactions for that specific creditor. The status field will allow you to group or filter a list of creditors together where you can then specify a specific status. An area will allow four characters to specify and group once again creditors together. Then you can fill in postal addresses, delivery addresses and you can specify if you would like to be able to have this SMS recipient option available. Remember if you use the SMS option you must do the setup correctly under module parameters to specify your SMTP service detail but you must also have a correct cell phone number. And that concludes the first session on how to add a creditor. The other options I'll explain in another session.